Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark and this channel is all about photography, tips and tricks, gear, reviews and behind the scenes. Now I know it's been a minute, I haven't been on for a while. A few of my friends and followers have been like, Mark, when's the next video coming out? So I decided to jump on as the year is coming to an end and I've got a few shoots in the next few days so I decided to just jump on and share a few things with you. Now, as I'm about to go off in the, in the next few days with these shoots, I'm often on location and I thought it'd be great to share some things that I might use that's in my bag that you as a budding photographer or professional photographer might consider when you're out in the field. And so these are the things that help me make my job easier, more efficient, and also for the client to kind of help them feel a bit more comfortable. So in no particular order, I'm just gonna start by sharing these with you. So let's go, let's jump right in. The first item I have is this rocket blower from Giotos and this, what this does is it cleans or blows air um, into your lens or into your camera and what I do with my lens and kit is before and after every shoot I use this to blow off any debris, dust or any kind of dirt that's gotten in the way because who wants to have dirt or soot or whatever, dust, soot, doesn't even soot come through, who wants to have dust and you know grime in between your lens and sensor and so a bit of ASMR for you guys this is a powerful blower that gets rid of any of the dust and you know whatever's in between there so I tried to pack this with me on shoot if not I'll bring a smaller one to just kind of clear off any of that kind of miscellaneous stuff that's that's the Giotos uh, rocket blower um, the pair that comes with this or my kind of workflow with cleaning I suppose is um, I use a lens pen and this thing I take with me everywhere all the time on shoots and as the name suggests it's a lens pen so it's, it's small enough like a pen and it's in two parts where it has the brush on one end which you you clear off any you know dust or hair or anything or yeah dirt and on the other end more for fingerprints and marks that I've left or smudges that are left on the lens and the front and rear of your lens is a, a microfiber pad with what I believe is carbon particles on there. So the carbon particles will absorb any kind of dirt and debris or fingerprints. That's handy to have and you can just stash it away in your bag with you. That's how I start and end every single shoot. Now, as I mentioned, it's coming to the end of the year and here in London, it's quite cold because it's winter. Oftentimes I have clients coming from warmer climates and that means that they're still adjusting to the temperature that's here in, in the UK. And so what I will bring with me, um, and this is kind of one item, I would bunch it as one item, is, um, it's in two parts, but one item, is hand warmers. So these hand warmers are manual, I, I would say, like you open them up and they react to the oxygen. And they're from a brand called Little Hotties, which I find quite funny and cute. Um, and so if you've got a family, a couple on, on a shoot, this is super handy to have. It's compact, you can just stash it away in your bag. The last thing you want are cold hands. You just wanna to be toasty. You can just stick them in your pocket and go. Um, just be aware that they get hot um, and so you wouldn't wanna burn yourself if you have sensitive skin. That's something to be mindful of. So in a one, two part kind of um, combo with, with these hand warmers is this little dude. Um, this is a, an electronic hand warmer which is rechargeable from a brand called Okupa and so I bought one of these devices maybe one or two years ago and this is an up-to-date version which is pretty cool because it's a, a two-part magnet um, design and so how this works is you just press the button to turn on and you've got four levels of heat so I don't know if you can see but you can escalate the heat if you're really cold or if you just kind of want it to be a bit toasty, you can just put it on level one. But I can feel it warming up right now in my hands. And yep, yeah, you can have it as one kind of clamshell, or you can separate it and put it in both your pockets and off you go. What I find really cool about this device as well is it has a cool function in which you can charge your phone or devices, given you have a cable, via a USB or USB-C port. Now I think the USB-C port is for you to charge, um, and the USB is the output. Um, what's cool about this is they're both 5,000 milliampere, so I believe if you've got iPhone 14, 15, or whatever the, your latest phone is, it should give you about one full charge, because if a phone is about 3,000, 4,000 milliampere, the battery, this will give you at least a, a charge. 
it might just save you in a pinch. I'm not saying it will charge your devices multiple times, but it is handy to have. So that's a Cooper. And I will link all of the products that you that I'm sharing with you in the description below. Now talking about digital juice or energy or kind of a recharge is I rarely travel anywhere without this guy. Now this is the Anchor, it's a battery bank and I've been using Anchor for years now and they are not sponsoring this video by any um, by any long shot but maybe one day who knows. But this is the 20,000 uh, milliampere Anchor charger. It has a PD uh, power delivery like the fast charge delivery it has two ports um, the USB and the and the USB-C and so that's handy to have it does add a little bit of weight I must um, note but it is still slim in profile that you can just slip it in your pocket or in your in your in your camera bag in your backpack now what is a battery bank without its accompanying cable and so I do and still use a lot of the anchor cables but very much lately I found out about this brand which is called Native Union and it's quite minimal and simple in its design. It has a rugged cable with a nice leather clasp and what's great about this cable is it's USB-C so um, as I showed you previously and on the end it has both USB-C and lightning cable so it can charge different peripherals that you may have. Now I'm not so sure if it has uh, the connecting adapter for Android users but I'm sure maybe we can figure that out. With this I find that you can only use one or the other at a time because it's got a pin that kind of confirms which one you're using and then the power outage goes and charges your phone or whatever device. So it's only one at a time. So that's very handy to have, stick that in your bag. Now when it comes to clients, um, I always try to carry this or a form of this. This is a mirror and you can tell why a mirror is handy. I try not to stick my phone in the client's faces as if like I'm taking a selfie of them. I mean, you probably could, but it's just nice to have this um, as, a, as a kind of real mirror if you want to do a top up of lipstick, makeup, or even if you want to tell your client that there's something in between their teeth, it's more of a better way to, to say it. And so, yeah, you can do quality checks on this and just final touch-ups. If you're with a bride, if you're with a couple, if you're with a model, this is always handy to have. So a mirror, very, very important. Now, thinking of my clients still, it could be a bride, it could be someone who's just breaking into new heels, it could be a model, it could be a couple who are, have been walking all day. And so I try my best to carry plasters and I have a cool little case with these kind of plaster bandages and I just stick a few in there. It's quite a slim profile as you can see and it's just helpful to have. You never know when you'll need it rather than have you ever, I don't know, you probably tell me in the comments below where you've had a situation where you've got like blood everywhere because someone's, I don't know, new, new shoes. And so yeah, you can have these kind of plasters. These are the heel ones, the, stick, the tabs that are for more of the chafing, you know? So I just stick those together and pop them in my bag. The next item is I found useful over time as I realized clients have outerwear or, you know, jackets. And so this is more of a travel accessory. You'll find these in maybe airports, but I found this, I believe, on Amazon. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a ring with a, like a yeah, carabiner, if you would, with a, with a belt loop system. And you just, you just pop it on your, on your camera bag or on your backpack and you just, you're able to clasp it there and this, thing this belt allows you to put maybe a scarf or an accessory or a jacket or even a, a cardigan you know and it's handy to have rather than placing the the jacket on the floor oftentimes my couples or my models will say hey jacket on or off and I'll say okay let's start with the jacket on but when they take it off where do, where do we put it so it's better than putting it on the floor you can just stick this on your bag and have the jacket kind of off to the side that's very handy to have I'll link that in, in the description below we're coming here to the end and um, one of the more creative accessories I have is a prism or prisms which allow you to, you know, use creative angles and use the refraction and reflections of light that give you this kind of cool effect that prisms, you know, give you. And so I find my way to kind of place this in corners or use it in ways to bend um, the frame and light in, in, in ways that give a kind of creative, cool, artsy look. And so, yeah. Prisms to help with a bit more creativity, just slip it in your bag. They are a tad bit heavy and watch out for the pointy ends. But other than that, they're just very handy to have on maybe engagement sessions or you want to try something different. Now, last item, an essential, maybe should have started off with this, but hand sanitizer. 
you never know where you're going to run into, what you're touching, you know, you're out and about, you're out in the elements. And so whether it's you that needs to clean your hands or your couple or who, whoever's just been eating, you know, you don't want them to touch people's faces and stuff like this. And so hand sanitizer is always a win. Stay clean, stay sanitized. Now, I just realized that was so quick. Like the 10 items just went so quickly. And if you've managed to stay till the end, thank you for staying. I have two bonus items for you. Now, this is more for when you have children on set or families um, with little children, small children. Bubbles, who doesn't love bubbles? Now I know even you big kids there, like everybody loves bubbles. So I use this in a way to catch their attention or to engage with them or to kind of just emulate play. Come on, who doesn't like bubbles guys? They're just awesome, right? So yeah, bubbles, bonus, bonus accessory for you. And the last bonus accessory I find quite funny, <laughs> a rubber chicken. Now I know this is for pets and I'm not suggesting that children are pets. I'm just saying this is a fun and creative and an imaginative way to catch their attention. Now it doesn't mean that you will get them to smile in of itself. You kind of have to know how to use it just like a camera, but this is always handy to have when you want to engage in play and the, the minds of, you know, small children when you're in their presence. So that's another extra tip. Guys, if you've made it to the end of this video, I'm really grateful. And if you've got any value from this, I'd love for you to just jump in the comments and hey, type in chicken if you've made it to the end. That would be lovely to hear from you. Um, and if you haven't yet, I'd love to ask your support to like, comment and subscribe. And I hope you'll stick around for more of the videos in the future. Guys, have a good one. Have an amazing end of the year. A happy new year, advanced new year to you all. And I hope to see you in the new year. Thank you guys. See you soon. Bye.